Google confirming that uh, its Egyptian executive, we've been speaking about him all morning, has in fact been released from prison. Chris Valeria joins us now from San Francisco with the details. A lot of a lot of news coming out this morning, Chris. Can you help us uh, sift through it? She's on the phone, actually. A lot of news. We've had conflicting reports all morning, but just a few minutes ago, we found out that the executive, Wild Ganim, who has been missing in Cairo for over two weeks, uh, has indeed returned to his family. A few minutes ago, Ganim posting a tweet that said, freedom is a bless that deserves fighting for it. Google then following with a tweet saying, huge relief, Wild Ganim has been released. Our love to him and his family. All of this, of course, happening over Twitter. Now, Ganim is Google's head of marketing in the Middle East and North Africa. He helped run several social networking sites, including a Facebook page, that were used to coordinate protests in Egypt. And there are reports that many in the country saw him as a symbolic leader in the events of the last two weeks. I actually had the chance to speak with one of his good friends, Omar Kudsi, shortly after Ganim's disappearance. Uh, the CEO and co-founder of the Arab world's largest blogging service, Jiran, telling me, quote, he was very active in the Egyptian online political discussion for change, and we have every reason to believe his disappearance is not random. So we also just got an email from uh, Omar Kudsi, who is, again, a friend of Ganim, saying that he is home, he is safe, and that is directly from the family. So certainly uh, there has been a lot of conflicting reports, but now it does seem that he is back. Again, Lisa, the interesting thing, all of this, of course, happening over Twitter and really underscoring the importance that the social media has become uh, for these types of issues. Chris, you just mentioned a moment ago a lot of conflicting reports out. I know it's not quite clear what the details are at the moment, but do we know on what charges or were charges brought against Ganim at this point? You know, there are no details about that. Of course, a lot of people uh, assuming that he was held uh, by the federal police there, the, the national police. I know that one of the things uh, I had read in several reports was that he was not the only person arrested. Several people uh, in connection with him were arrested. He was running apparently several social media sites. Not only that he was an administrator for the Facebook page uh, that helped organize some of these protests, and again, as I I mentioned what his friend told me, uh, the co-founder of the l largest blogging service in the Arab world, saying that he certainly believed that that was a large reason behind his disappearance. We're hoping to find out more details as, of course, this all comes out. Uh, we have requests in to hopefully be speaking with him. But again, at this point, just the latest from the Twitter pages, believe it or not, is where we're finding out, Google itself confirming that he has been released. Chris, and I know you're on top of all this information, and, and yet it's still hard to get the details again, but we do know that he was taken on January 28th, or has been missing since January 28th. Were any of his colleagues, either at Google or at any of these other social media sites, also arrested or taken by the police? Well, again, so one of the issues is, as far as companies that uh, operate in the United States, obviously American companies, this is the only executive that we know of. Several people, though, connected with an executive uh, from a company in the United Arab Emirates were with him. Uh, that company, that man being El Bardais, he is a very big name within the online community there. And several people that were working for him or connected with him were said to have been arrested as well. Um, Again, we will find out uh, what happens. One of the other things that uh, Omar Kutsi told me was that he's coming off as a very heavy political mover, but he's just a hardworking guy that's into the Internet that cares about his country. Certainly, Egyptian authorities did not see it that way. Okay, Chris, thank you so much for giving us those details. That was our very own Chris Valerio giving us the latest on news that the Google executive, um, Wild Ganim, has in fact been released.